The world we live in today is so backwards as far as our finances and how we should look at it biblically. Um, we're in an instant society today where if you want it, go out and buy it. You don't have to have the money. Just finance it. Um, 90 days, same as cash, or we'll give you 60 months, 0% financing. But then you go default on something like that, and here's all this interest piling in. I was a single mom for a lot of years, and I, I wanted to tithe forever. But I, it was just the last thing I was hanging on to. I just couldn't give it up. And um, God just kept laying it upon my heart to reach out and just trust Him completely. And I don't, I don't know what it is about giving that up, that dollar. <laughs> I was single, so I didn't have another income to depend upon, and I just thought, I'm barely making it now, Lord. There's just no way I can give to you and feed my daughter and keep a roof over our head. But once I surrendered and said, okay, here I am. Oh my gosh, he's been so faithful over the years. We've not always done it the way it should be done. We've slipped, we've, we've taken a couple of steps backwards. Um, and I did that in my single life as well. Um, but I think I finally got it through my brain that um, we just need to lay our entire finances and our giving at Jesus' feet. And I'm here to tell you, He gives back far more than you ever give Him. So I, I want to encourage, we're going to run the Crown um, Ministries again in church. And I would like to encourage anybody that uh, whether you are well off or whether you're just scraping by, to come and go through God's Word and get God's principles and then put them into practice. And it's very practical. It will create a budget for you. And we do dig into the Word and there's memorization, there's workbooks. And uh, the folks that have gone through it, uh, I think that have really, really benefited. I, I know I have.